Yeah, so you can... Sp oh yeah, I gotta make a new bed here. Yeah, you gotta throw a bed up. Move the, we need to move the cliff plant up top. The place yeah, where you have it is bad up. because people can see for the bottom of the cliff plant. And I don't want it to be like that. Can you place it on the top, like up You can there, place or? it, okay, so like you can place it like right almost parallel with the top. And then you put um, a foundation, a pillar, two ceilings, another pillar, and then a foundation. Like it's, it's a certain way that you can build to where you can build on the top, even though you're not allowed to place foundations there. And then we can put our base there. We can get rid of the cliff plat because it'll LOS. And then we can just have turrets covering our base. And then when we want to expand, we can expand with cliff plats around and put chandelier, you know, turrets going down. Can't keep a true survivor down. Being targeted oh. by insect swarm. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to put chandeliers because it's too high or whatever. Uh, no, you definitely can. Range high. There we go. I don't know where these fucking swarms are coming from. Okay, guys, so Trini's been on while I've been taking my fat fucking nap, but people have been coming by the base quite often trying to um, blow up our shit. So that's kind of annoying. So we finally got a turret set up. We need to get more, but. It's just kind of hard. Like, getting resources on here this early is pretty difficult, so... <sighs> We're gonna get some more, um, turrets set up, and I guess some more ARBs, probably the play. <sighs> the thing is, using lights, it's not really gonna do much, even against primitive flak, so... We really need to try and push to level 100. I'm pretty close. I think a couple more runs through the, um lava biome uh, gauntlet and I should be level 100. Okay guys, so I'm going to be heading over to the arctic biome. Uh, I want to go ahead and pick us up a kangaroo because I feel like it'll make farming a hell of a lot easier um, oh, it's just it's just been a struggle guys like you guys don't actually understand how hard this map is when you're playing from behind and the people who are ahead of you continuously keep punching down it's it's very difficult it's not going terrible but it's also not going great like we need honestly we, we really only need like eight heavies and then we're good like we're golden at like eight heavies and some bullets but until we reach that point every time i leave the base i'm just like you know god i hope nobody comes over here because it's just so easy for them to raid us at the moment like it's actually absurdly easy put up some turrets just to prevent them from getting in like 100 percent for free but that can only really do so much you know all right i have everything that i need more or less so i'm just gonna head on over to the arctic biome here's hoping gotta make sure i come all the way over here when i'm at base so that i don't accidentally teleport teams with me all right here we are got a uteranus over there you know what i did forget to bring a spyglass so i guess i will grab the mats for that on my way if i can find them what about a megatherium i feel like a megatherium would actually be really good too Yo, you can get away from me, brother. I don't I don't know who you think you're trying to tussle with, but... You're gonna go right in this trap over here. You keep following me. That's what I thought, pussy. That's what I thought, pussy. Alright, so maybe we'll go for the Megatherium, because they actually have pretty decent weight. I could level it full weight, and it could also harvest bugs for me. And it's a 135. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go for that. We're gonna go for that, for sure. And, again, unfortunately, um... Unless you guys, you know, didn't see the community post about it, uh, yeah, the MTS base is gone. Um, the people who I was going to play Genesis Small Tribes with decided that they wanted to continue to play MTS instead, and then the, um, offline time was still just too much without, you know, sufficient NA people like me and Jacked, so they ended up getting offline. They, they did, uh, last a little while, um, you know, 
multiple people tried to offline the base and failed, but eventually they did get in, so that's a big sad F in the chat for the MTS base. I know you guys actually really did enjoy that series, and I was having a lot of fun playing as well, so, you know, it's sad, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and get this Mega Ethereum trapped up. Right quick. Ouch, that hurted. Okay. And we'll just start plugging away at this thing and hopefully it doesn't get out. Oh, it does a lot of damage to those signposts. I gotta make sure that I get this thing out quick. And hopefully if I stand away from it, it won't attack the signposts. Once I get this thing knocked out, I'm gonna have to craft some... Um, Wooden spike walls so that no wild boys get it. And then I will probably just AFK uh, watch some YouTube videos right here in this crack and should be fine. In all honesty. The only thing that should um, come over here and try and attack it is wolves. And with like four, maybe five spike walls, I should be able to keep this thing from getting attacked. So. Once I have waited about 25 minutes, I'll start looking for a place to um, get some mutton. And yeah, I have a little bit of extra narcotic just in case. Oh man, you can even use the H to see its torpidity. That's so pog, dude. There we go. Alright, let's get some spike walls thrown up really quick. I have the hide and fiber and thatch, I'm pretty sure. All I need is the wood. So I'll just grab this wood here. Okay, so unfortunately I just saw a Therizino right next to my trap. Um, he's right up there now. I don't know if he was trying to kill the trap or what. I think he probably was though, so it might be a rip on the Megatherium boys. Might just have to take Megagantopithecus and dip. And I just saw the tweet from Wildcard that says that they added flyers to Genesis. You know. Just on servers that also don't have the missions enabled and you can build in mission zones because we all ask for that, right? I, I genuinely, like, I don't understand why they can't just, like, do the things that people want without just tacking on just random dumb shit that nobody asked for. Like, nobody... Okay, very small minority of people. Smaller than the already small minority of people who wanted flyers, right? wanted to be able to build in mission areas like if you want to build in mission areas go play unofficial if you want to build on like obelisks that you normally can't build on and stuff go play unofficial like it's not that hard we'll see is he coming over here to mess with my thing no it looks like he's dipping fuck yeah dude that's like the one thing that i will say about this map and well i guess all new maps and dlcs in general pretty much is a lot of the time people aren't super super aggressive for no apparent reason um you know you have the people who will be but like you you will run into more friendly people on new dlcs than anything else just because like they know that you know if they attack that i could be in the area i could actually have something to kill them it, do they want to risk it you know is that is that a rat hole and yeah, not really Definitely could fall on that and get stuck though. Be careful about that. This thing should be ready to tame in like 10 seconds. And then I need to go find mutton like ASAP. And hopefully this guy didn't beat the shit out of it. Like, I mean, he probably did, but. Oh, poor Rich. Oh, I just yeeted myself. I'm probably dead. I forgot about that. Oh, Jesus. That's frustrating. Well, be careful not to do that again.
As long as it's still alive, I'll be happy. And it looks to be still alive. Put the mutton in there and a stack of extra meat just in case for safety. 99.8. Oh, perfect, dude. This guy didn't actually grief it. I'm so happy. Let's go to the HLNA point shop thing really quick and get a... Oh, easy. Get a cryopod, which is almost free. That's actually so pog, guys. You have no idea how big this is going to be for us. We've been struggling, but you know what? This might actually turn it around. Oh, look at that. Look at those stats. I think those are actually kind of bad, but you know what, dude? It's already got a base 1100 weight. This thing's going to be so important for us. Like, I cannot overstate how important it is. I'm I'm just over the moon. I'm so ecstatic, guys. Ooh, that is a pack of wolves, and they do not look happy. I'm going to get right back into my trap, where they cannot get. And we are going to go ahead and teleport out of this biome. Oh! Out, well, that's another reason why it's a good thing that I had beds put down. Holy! That would be so bad if I didn't have beds. I think the uh, Megatherium is probably super duper dead though. Or not the Megatherium, the uh, Mega Gigantopithecus. But, ready for action. that's fine. Yeah, he's super duper dead. Yikes, yeah, they just cut through that like a hot knife through butter. Oh, because I forgot. That's why it was dealing so much damage to the trap. It's 6x. Maybe I can just snake my way in and grab my bag and dip. No, he's not letting me just get away with it that easy. It's got like a 30 minute timer though, so it's not really a big deal. Uh, see you later. I'm gonna teleport from right here. See you boys. Unfortunately, we're not at a point of safety where I can leave anything uncryoed, so I will have to just uncryo the Megatherium up there until I get a saddle for it. Then I can go ahead and start running around with it and using it for uh, farming and stuff. Only you could find the beauty in me yeeting myself into the ground, HLNA. That's the beauty of throwing yourself into the ground at breakneck speeds and killing yourself. You can do it multiple times. Alright, so now that I have this, uh, I'm very, very, very happy. Like, this has actually uplifted my spirits quite a lot, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and um, work on grinding out the bog beatdown for levels and some more extra throwaway gear. Um, I'm gonna see if uh, one of the tribes that I know um, wants to do like medium or hard But more than likely just gonna end up doing gamma because I am solo and if they're busy doing other things Which most people are most people aren't prioritizing the missions um, Then yeah, I'll just be doing the gamma uh, But I think that's gonna wrap things up for today's episode boys Hopefully you guys enjoyed my struggles trials and tribulations uh, and make sure that you let me know down in the comments if you guys are enjoying the series or if you're not enjoying the series Let me know what you guys would rather see because I am open to suggestions. Um, so let me know uh, But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace